not the champagne pop it's my house come on turn it up uh. hear a knock on the door and the night begins because we've done this before so you come on in you have to be at the forefront of that but um, we don't care about selling condo developments in the marina or uh, you know, some project in Tarzana. Our focus is strictly the high-end market, um, which really we define now at 20 million and above. We've controlled that market. We've been involved in more of those deals than anyone, um, including you know selling the most expensive home that's ever sold in Los Angeles representing the buyer on the most prolific buying spree in the history of residential real estate, period. That's our market. We stick to what we know. We don't try and go in other places because, you know, it is the higher the price, the smaller the world. And, and that's, um, I think in one word, it's access. No one has the access that, that we have. You know, we look at our company and we have, it's a very big company, but it's run like a mom and pop. And um, I think what we look for for when people, more than anything, if you look at successful agents is where do they go from there? If they've already made it to a level that they're very comfortable with, how do they grow? And I'm not talking about financially as much as how do they grow? You know, mo many people that are in this business, including me and I used to sell, um, you're very, a, you know, you're a very type A personality. You're very driven. You want to do this. But when you get to a point of success, what do you do next? And I think with our company, the ability to have options to do other things is so important to the people that we talk to, that we invite into the company. I think for the other part as well, is we look for people that believe in the platform, that we believe that a non-franchise business can be across the U.S. and not be run like a franchise. And so for us, it's very important to have people that see that vision as well. You know, somebody that's 50 isn't doing what they're doing when they're 20. It's the same thing with real estate. You may have been in circles when you were 20, in circles when you were 30, in circles when you were 40, and you, you may look back at your business and it may have all been built by circles that you were in 30 years ago or 20 years ago that you've grown and, and kept in touch with over time. So like Kurt says, you know, you don't want to tell somebody that's not used to wearing a tie to wear a tie, I think that's what you said. You, you, you know, do what you're comfortable with. Make sure you're comfortable. If your brand is what you're comfortable with, you are your brand. Your brand is what you're selling, and your clients are comfortable with your brand. Embrace that brand. Know what it is. Know who your target is. And your target is the brand of look at who most of your agent, most of your clients are. That is your brand. I, you know, when I talk, people have no idea what I'm saying sometimes. But if you got that, uh, it's kind of roundabout. <laughs> now, I've never seen a situation where the agent hasn't done more business once they're really focused and they implement a business plan. I, I, think, as, I think as managers, we have an obligation to help them if they don't have those tools to help them structure a, a business plan to get the lead generation, the contacts, the prospecting, whatever they need to do to generate the business, be it buyers or sellers. The more you know, the more that you have knowledge of what's out there, the better benefit you can be to your client. Not what's the best club, what's the best restaurant. They want to know what's the best product, the best price, and where can I, when can I see it. Um, I have started doing a lot of social media, but the clients that I have represented over 30 years, who I've sold a number of houses to, said, Myra, enough with the social media, enough with the restaurants and the, the clubs. I just want to know about the property. I get so much on my emails. It's overload. And <clears throat> what's happening now is we as brokers want to be ahead of the game. We want to send out as much information as possible, but it is broker overload with things that are not as relevant to the consumer as where's the property? Show me the money. I want to buy it. I want to make money. I want to see what's out there and connecting with that client with the property. This is, this is a, a, a nuance that's never been in this business. And if we did, don't take hold of it, we're going to be where we're, we're not going to represent buyers anymore. We're going to have listings, but buyers are going to be by third companies. And, you know, I, I see that happening more and more. That's why Compass is really trying to get ahead of that with their technology. And look, Kurt's been the most successful guy there is with relationships and doing business. But I also think there's another side of it that's moving much faster than all of us know. And now is the time to take hold of it because 
you know, we're going to turn around like a lot of other companies, a lot of industries have done and said, what happened? So th that's, that's our mantra right now is being able to help agents get through this now, being able to give them 24-hour support to be able to get in front of this. So it's going to make a difference. And we're in the midst of change. I mean, the great thing about it, change is terrific. Conventional, traditional way of marketing homes, which is try to be everywhere all the time with it. You know, you never know from where that buyer is going to come. What channels? You know, how are you going to connect with them? So, you know, it might be different publications. It might be, you know, billboards. It might be magazines. It might be uh, radio ads. However it's going to be, you have to figure out how to get your narrative and imagery to those, to those you know, prospect customers. And then in the end, you got to, you know, be a good real estate agent. You got to close and you got to get them into the house and, and help them understand not just the square footage, not just how many bedrooms and baths, but really what that lifestyle is that they're going to be buying.